Hello everybody, my name is Jax and welcome to the channel. So my claim, my claim is that I created all three of these characters, all three of them in under 10 minutes, not under 10 minutes each. I created all three of them in under 10 minutes and they're in Blender. They're pretty cool characters, aren't they? Considering that like I've spent sometimes 30 hours on, on characters and stuff like that. Um, I, I can imagine why the claim that I made all three of these within 10 minutes is kind of unbelievable. Well, it's kind of not now because we have a AI and that's where I'm going with this. All, right, all three of these characters were created on a website called Meshi. So they're completely original characters. I mean, there's some similar similarities if you put in certain prompts and stuff. But let, let me just show you, show you how, how I've done this. Right, so there's a website called Meshi AI, Meshi.ai, right? And this is the website. And it's a, a, it's a pay monthly website, to be fair. So it's not a free service, but you can get three days, um, three days trial. I, I'm actually paying monthly for this now. Uh, I got it the other day. But um, you can do a, a, a pay monthly. You can do a three day trial. And and then it's in and it's paid monthly, but it is really good. I did try this out about a month or two ago, and it didn't seem that good at the time. But um, I, I tried it again recently, and like look at some of these models that people created, and they're created literally with text. So and you can even put images. You can you can put an image in and and drop an image there, and it will create it for you. But if you just go to text. You can just type in a a small green alien and then just generate and I, I'm not the I'm not the best at AI prompts. That that does seem to be some kind of a skill in itself and knowing how to to what information you need to type in in this prompt. But look, I'll show you. It's going to prove me wrong now and take a lot longer than I said, right? So, so you, I mean, there is problems. You 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 might want to get your T pose cor correct, and some of the skinning isn't brilliant, and there is problems. But it's still very early stages. But this saves you a ton of time. So it's set on seventy percent. So how long would you say that's been? About a minute or two, maybe. But it's already given me four options, and all I've typed is a small green alien. So, so when it as an artist, and I say art, art, artist loosely, like it, it, art is in the eye of the beholder, I suppose. But as an artist, AI does trouble trouble me slightly. Uh, it, but if if on the flip side side of that coin, I mean, it does sort of like. It, it it's a it's a long discussion ai and art it, it's it's quite a, a an in-depth discussion i suppose but quite shallow shallow discussion is that you don't really have to do much art to be able to create something quite beautiful really i suppose and it's all stuff that's based on an algorithm that's already in the internet so it's not really ever going to produce something original because it, it just can't right so, so okay so that that that's that's give me these aliens and i can choose from four yeah so like what i was saying so th th this is where the beauty is so let's say we want to pick that alien and we just go texture so every time you do a prompt and every time you do a a, a texture you're losing your credit so you have to buy credits so that so just making this little green alien cost me about 30 credits or something and you i, I think the plan on mine i might only get a thousand a month right so yeah so what i was saying is uh, as far as art's concerned ai can't produce original work because it, it it's taking commands from stuff that already exists whereas an actual human artist can produce brilliant stuff all the time like anybody has the potential to create something beautiful at any point whereas ai can only use what what information it has i mean i'm sure in a year or two 
maybe even sooner than that it there'll be new advancements but um yeah in this video i just wanted to show you how quickly like you can produce these models and i'm just going to show you how to do it so literally on the meshy website i've just gone text to 3d and i've typed typed in small green alien it's given me these four options i've chose that one then under that one i've pressed texture and now it's creating the texture so i'm not sure how long that's been maybe under, all three models under 10 minutes might have been a tiny exaggeration but only by a couple of minutes it's not like like as you can see this has only took about four minutes maybe to create this one and then this texture will be done and i'll show you and when when the texture's on them they look they look 20 times better well 100 times better to be fair but yeah so i'll show you what to do so yeah i don't i don't really want to go into too much discussion about ai i just wanted to point out that this this tool is available for for artists so i think the way i'm going to be using this is either for references or for map parts or for weapons um you know there's a lot when it comes to game development a a 3d look at that so then say say i'm happy with that right it is pretty cool you just go to this little button here and you press download and then you want it fbx you might i don't really know much about uh 3d files but i always use fbx so you'll download and then you'll get that and then open file and then it's just a zip file so you just click on double click on that file the bottom one and there's your fbx and there's your texture and you just put that into a, a folder or whatever you want to do but yeah that, that that's about it i don't know how long that actually took me but but I, that that's pretty cool in the space of a video this alien was created right so i tr I, I, I put the file into my um the file that i wanted so you just go to import fbx find the Find the one that you just made. There he is. To get the texture on it, just go over to your materials, click a new. You can call that something if you want, just alien green, whatever. Right, and then go up to your shading. And then this is your material for that, that alien green. Just go to add texture image texture and then just on this image texture go open and find the file that's the texture map and then just link the color to the base color and it's there and that's it yeah just thought i'd point out people met me, meshy.ai a really really useful tool and you can just use it however you want to use it but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one good bye